Hello guys and welcome to this video where we are talking about two of our most paid players and how they perform. Whereas I know how much Marcus Rashford and maybe Anthony have contributed to what we are seeing as progress at Manchester United. I think it's high time these two got benched. Here is why. We are returning to Old Trafford at a time when you know there is uncertainty surrounding our ownership and obviously the fans want something exciting, something interesting, something nice. Now, clearly, Manchester United has been flattling a lot to deceive when it came to attacking and going forward. Why? Because the manager, Eric Ten Hag, has for the longest time clung on to two players who are not as effective. Look, Marcus Rashford has played all Premier League games, has scored no goal, assisted nothing in the English Premier League. In the Champions League, you can say in the two, he has uh, assisted twice in the Champions League in the two games he has played. But in the Premier League, he's not effective. And in sport, we say you as good as your last shot. Now, his last shot in the Premier League is, was so, 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 so disappointing. Why on earth are we still starting Marcus Rashford? This boy is earning close to, close to £400,000 per week. He earned the contract by his good performances last season, becoming our best player, scoring about what? 30 goals in the entire season to be our best player at, at, at Manchester United, deservedly. Uh, you know, he, he was our best performer because he scored the goals when we had no one to bring them in. And we created him the reward, a very huge new contract uh, from our, the guys who negotiate these deals. You can still question whether exactly that was the fitting reward for a young boy who has grown up in our academy. But that's United for you. They always have a lot of money to give out. But this season, let's judge him based on this season. Rashford has proved and Renny Millinston was saying this earlier on today i've listened to him on talk sport and he was saying this boy is too selfish and we don't talk enough about Anthony dos santos when are we going to start demanding eric ten Hag to bench Anthony dos santos in the six games dos santos has played he has not assisted any single uh, game a goal he has not scored a single goal the whole of last season he's played 25 games scored only four goals and made two assists a total of six goal contributions in 25 games in the last season, his first season. Honestly, Anthony Dos Santos has failed. He's, whenever I look at Anthony Dos Santos, and the thing about players like him, he reminds me of uh, uh, the, this you know, uh, Ivory Coast uh, you know, boy who, who flopped at Arsenal, uh, Nicolas Pepe. These are players who you feel he's one next dribble away from his you know, next amazing assist. He always this flatters, he flatters to deceive, he threatens that he's going to do something and he, he does nothing. So the manager will keep on hoping and believing that maybe it will turn, up, uh, turn, out, uh, turn out to work at some point. But unfortunately, more often than not, it doesn't, for, especially for Anthony Dos Santos. So my feeling is for me, these two players and both of them are so selfish. So like Ren Ulysses was saying, Rasmus Hoyland, a young, talented, promising striker, is, sand is, is, is being sandwiched by two selfish uh, players who have lost their confidence. They have got nothing, no, no valor. They have got no desire in them. There is nothing they are chasing. They have lost it completely. And these are the two that are expected to be feeding him balls. They are not doing it. And somehow, the manager will not do something ab anything about it. He will fear to, to, to put Marcus Rashford on the bench and keep putting Anthony Dos Santos there, even when there's no justification for that. For me, this game at FC Copenhagen is the opportunity for us to see Eric Ten Hag make the right decisions, start the right players. I'll give you an example. Anthony Dos Santos was out of football for two weeks. He wasn't playing. This boy, Facundo Pelistri, was having his chances and he was, you know, trying to put in the hard years to try and improve. And he saw he was hungry. Whenever he came on there, he saw he was trying and he was hungry. It was a, a little exciting. Somehow, Antonio Dos Santos returns, and after two trainings, he's starting ahead of Pelistri. Pelistri has not kicked a ball ever since. What exactly is that? What exactly is that? And for me, these are the issues to do with man management and how Eric Ten Hag is managing young players. I mean, the fascination that he's got, and perhaps a, 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 as if a, a sort of fear, a, a look, it looks like fear of some of these players on huge wages, and players, of course, he signed, like Anthony, is becoming too much that it is exposing him. It is exposing him so bad. So for me, I feel like it's high time Marcus Rashford and, and, and Antonio Dos Santos were benched for, for Ariando Ganacho and Facundo Peristri. You know what? The thing is, the fact is, 
whereas even pastry and uh, and ganacho do not have the best stats the, the, the reality is they have not been given as much opportunities to prove themselves as have been awarded to marcus rashford and Anthony dos santos that's the reality you can say they haven't scored they haven't assisted in the big leagues but it's because they, are, they, they have not been given enough opportunity enough opportunities but you clearly know we know what Alejandro Ganesh can do and don't tell me this talk of of him being an impact substitute better off the bench how will you know how good he is as a starter if he's not given enough opportunities the way the, the manager seems to be entrusting you know Marcus Rashford and Anthony Dos Santos so for me that is my issue with this whole Manchester United team for me the changes I expect to make and I know Eric Ten Hag will want to confuse us and try to you know keep uh, you know, a couple of players and then come and praise them in press conferences. For me, the changes I'm expecting going forward for United is Marcus Rashford starting on the bench, Anthony Dos Santos starting on the bench, Facundo Pelistri together with Alejandro Ganacho starting up uh, there uh, as the two trying to assist the young Rasmus Hoyland to get goals. That for me is what I expect to see. Otherwise, Manchester United is in trouble because of failure to make decisions decisions by the manager you see what uh, what uh, Mikel Arteta did with uh, the goalkeeper Ramsdale a few mistakes and Ramsdale clearly will see looks shaky brings in a world-class goalkeeper and boom in a short time what do we see David Dreyer is starting ahead of Ramsdale what does that show that's the character of a manager who will make decisions for the good of the team for the improvement of the team and Dreyer has clearly improved Arsenal so why isn't uh, Eric Ten Hag, doesn't he see it? Is it so difficult to see that Manchester United has got to make adjustments in terms of players feeding Rasmus Hoyland? The one thing, the KPI for every United player right now should be trying to get the ball to Rasmus Hoyland. Even Eric Ten Hag admitted it and said it. This boy gets in the right positions. Renny Mullinstein, a former first-team coach at Manchester United, has also said the same thing. He said the same thing. This is a guy who worked with Alex Ferguson. He worked with these players, the Wine Rooney's. He has said it that this is a beautiful boy, a good footballer, world class talented, sandwiched by two players who are selfish. What on earth are two selfish players doing on the pitch when you've got young players who would be willing to feed our multi million pound signing? Guys, Eric, come on, Eric. Come on, come on, come on. This should be obvious to see. This should be too obvious for everyone to see. So that's the problem at Man United. Of course, we might keep here talking about this and that, the Glazers and what have you. Yes, the Glazers have got their issues, but I mean, they, it's not the Glazers who are stopping. I don't think they are stopping Eric Ten Hag from putting Marcus Rashford and Anthony Dos Santos on the bench. Bench them. They are not performing. Bench them. Give opportunities to youngsters. Eric Ten Hag is still struggling to find a place for Scott McTominay. The boy is screaming, I'm number 10, I'm your number 10. Ten Hag is still again, again and again and again fascinated with Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes, Christian Eriksen, all these players playing there, yet they don't have the feet to do the things Scott McTominay has proved he can do, has, has proved, to, uh, proved to us that he can do in those areas. Why don't you then just put these young players and they excite the fans? Fans want to see excitement. I don't think Man United fans lately care a lot about losing. We know we come into a game when we are, I think, just a second away from a loss. We hope if we win, that's a surprise. We'll be happy. We'll take it. But these days, we don't believe in our team. So excite us. Put their young players who are exciting. Put their Ganacho. When you're watching Ganacho, you're always excited to see what, he, what next move is going to pull. But Ten Hag won't give these kids their opportunities. What then do you do? You say, I'm out. Let's enjoy the game. My prediction uh, for this game, and I, uh, I, again, I want to be honest, and I won't go into the lineups of what Eric Ten Hag wants to do. He will do what he wants to do. He's, a, he's the, in Ten Hag. You can, you can guess, obviously, uh, which players will put there. If Anthony is fit, he will start. Marcus, but come on. Anyway, my prediction will still go anyway for the love of the badge. Rasmus Hoyland is going to play uh, to, to score comfortably against his first senior team employer. So it will be an easy victory for Manchester United. Three goals to one. That's my prediction. Tell me your hotspot. But also, tell me what do you think? Is it high time we benched Anthony Dos Santos and Marcus Rashford? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like this video as well, guys. Let's push this to about 50 likes, just 50. But also, most important, guys, 
subscribe to the hotspot and share this video recommend your team to, to your guys to come as we do talk uh, keep talking manchester united guys catch you later